The Atlas computer was one of the world's first supercomputers, in use from 1962 until 1971. It was considered to be the most powerful computer in the world at that time. Atlas was created in a joint development effort among the University of Manchester, Ferranti International plc and the Plessy Co. plc. Atlas was a second-generation computer, using discrete germanium transistors in place of vacuum tubes. It is notable for being the first machine with virtual memory at that time referred to as one-level store using paging techniques. This approach quickly spread, and is now ubiquitous. Atlas Capacity promoted the saying that when it went offline, half of the United Kingdom's computer capacity was lost. Two other Atlas machines were built, one for British Petroleum and the University of London, and one for the Atlas Computer Laboratory at Chilton near Oxford. A derivative system was built by Ferranti for Cambridge University. Called the Titan, or Atlas II, it had a different memory organization and ran a time-sharing operating system developed by Cambridge University Computer Laboratory. Two further Atlas IIs were delivered, one to the CAD Center in Cambridge later called CAD Center, then Aveva, and the other to the Atomic Weapons Research Establishment AWRE, Aldermaston. The University of Manchester's Atlas was decommissioned in 1971. The final Atlas, the CAD Center machine, was switched off in late 1976. Parts of the Chilton Atlas are preserved by National Museum Scotland in Edinburgh. The main console itself was rediscovered in July 2014 and is at Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Chilton, near Oxford. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background Development of Muse a name derived from microsecond engine began at Manchester University in 1956. The aim was to build a computer that could operate at processing speeds approaching 1 microsecond per instruction, about 1 million instructions per second. The prefix micro abbreviation micro in the SI or International System of Units denotes a factor of 10 minus 6 1 millionth. At the end of 1958 Ferranti agreed to collaborate with Manchester University on the project, and the computer was shortly afterwards renamed Atlas, with the joint venture under the control of Tom Kilburn. The first Atlas was officially commissioned on 7 December 1962, and was considered at that time to be equivalent to four IBM 7094s and nearly as fast as the IBM 7030 stretch, then the world's fastest supercomputer. Topic: Technical description. Hardware The machine had many innovative features, but the key operating parameters were as follows the store size relates to the Manchester installation, the others were larger. 48-bit word size a word could hold one floating point number, one instruction, two 24-bit addresses or signed integers, or eight 6-bit characters. A fast adder that used novel circuitry to minimize carry propagation time. 24-bit, 2 million words, 16 million characters, address space that embraced supervisor, sacred store, v store, fixed store, and the user store. 
16 K words of core store equivalent to 96 kilobytes, featuring interleaving of odd, even addresses. 8 K words of read-only memory referred to as the fixed store. This contained the supervisor and extra code routines. 96K words of drum store EQV, to 576 kilobytes, split across four drums but integrated with the core store using virtual memory. 128 high-speed index registers B lines that could be used for address modification in the mostly double modified instructions. The register address space also included special registers such as the extra code operand address and the exponent of the floating point accumulator. Three of the 128 registers were program counter registers, 125 was supervisor interrupt control, 126 was extra code control, and 127 was user control. Register 0 always held value 0. Capability for the addition of for the time sophisticated new peripherals such as magnetic tape, including direct memory access DMA facilities, Peripheral control through vStore addresses, memory mapped I.O., interrupts and extra code routines, by reading and writing special wired in store addresses. An associative memory, content addressable memory, to determine whether the desired virtual memory location was in core store. Instruction pipelining atlas did not use a synchronous clocking mechanism. It was an asynchronous processor. So performance measurements were not easy but as an example. Fixed point register add 1.59 microseconds. Floating point add, no modification 1.61 microseconds. Floating point add, double modify 2.61 microseconds. Floating point multiply, double modify for 97 microseconds. Topic: Extra code. One feature of the Atlas was extra code, a technique that allowed complex instructions to be implemented in software. The uppermost 10 bits of a 48-bit Atlas machine instruction denoted which operation should be performed. If the most significant bit was set to zero, this was an ordinary machine instruction executed directly by the hardware. If the uppermost bit was set to 1, this was an extra code and was implemented as a special kind of subroutine jump to a location in the fixed store ROM, its address being determined by the other 9 bits. About 250 extra codes were implemented, of the 512 possible. Extra code mode had its own program address counter, and easy access to the instruction operands. Extra codes were what would be called software interrupt or trap today. They were used to call mathematical procedures which would have been too inefficient to implement in hardware, for example sign, logarithm, and square root. But about half of the codes were designated as supervisor functions, which invoked operating system procedures. Typical examples would be, print the specified character on the specified stream, or read a block of 512 words from logical tape N. Extra codes were the only means by which a program could communicate with the supervisor. Other UK machines of the era, such as the Ferranti Orion, had similar mechanisms for calling on the services of their operating systems. Extra 
Topic: Software. Atlas pioneered many software concepts still in common use today, including the Atlas Supervisor, considered by many to be the first recognizable modern operating system. One of the first high-level languages available on Atlas was named Atlas Autocode, which was contemporary to ALGOL 60 and created specifically to address what Tony Brooker perceived to be some defects in ALGOL 60. The Atlas did however support ALGOL 60, as well as Fortran and COBOL, and ABL Atlas Machine Code. Being a university computer it was patronized by a large number of the student population, who had access to a protected machine code development environment. It also had a programming language called SPG. Equals System Program Generator. At runtime an SPG program could compile more program for itself. It could define and use macros. Its variables were in and it had a text parser, giving SPG program text a resemblance to Bacchus Nower form. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Hardware software integration. Equals. <laughs> From the outset, Atlas was conceived as a supercomputer that would include a comprehensive operating system. The hardware included specific features that facilitated the work of the operating system. For example, the extracode routines and the interrupt routines each had dedicated storage, registers and program counters, a context switch from user mode to extracode mode or executive mode, or from extracode mode to executive mode, was therefore very fast. <laughs> equals Manchester computers equals topic notes and references equals notes bibliography topic further reading Parallel Edition in Digital Computers, A New Fast Carry Circuit, T. Kilburn, D. B. G. Edwards, D. Aspinall, Proc. IEE Part B September 1959 The Central Control Unit of the Atlas Computer, F. H. Sumner, G. Haley, E. C. Y. Chen, Information Processing 1962, Proc. IFIP Congress 62. One Level Storage System, T. Kilburn, D. B. G. Edwards, M. J. Lanigan, F. H. Sumner, I. R. Trans. Electronic Computers April 1962 accessed 13 October 2011 Kilburn, T. 1 March 1961. The Manchester University Atlas Operating System Part 1, Internal Organization. The Computer Journal, 4 3, 222-225. DOI 10.1093 COMJNL 4.3.222 ISSN 0010-4620 Howarth, DJ, the 1st of March 1961. The Manchester University Atlas Operating System Part 2: User's Description. 
The Computer Journal, 4, 3, 226 to 229. DOI 101093 comjnl 4.3.226. ISSN 0010-4620 The Atlas Supervisor, T. Kilburn, R. B. Payne, D. J. Howarth, reprinted from Computers Key to Total Systems Control, Macmillan 1962 The Atlas Scheduling System, D. J. Howarth P. D. Jones, M. T. Wild, Comp. J. October 1962. The First Computers, History and Architectures, edited by Raoul Rojas and Ulf Hashigan, 2000, MIT Press, ISBN 0-262-18197-5. A History of Computing Technology, M. R. Williams, IEEE Computer Society Press, 1997, ISBN 0-8186-7739-2. External links The Atlas Autocode Reference Manual the Atlas Supervisor Paper T. Kilburn, R. B. Payne, D. J. Howarth, 1962 http bitsaversinformaticuni bitsaversinformaticuniuni stuttgart Dip PDF, ICT underscore ICL, Atlas, several reference documents Ferranti Atlas 1 and 2, list of references